got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. Anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And... I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. Now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tune. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Wants to get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Fucking kill you, cunt! Where's Rubik's treasure? Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore!
Told you true. Doo-doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserve. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Listen, I tracked down Horson Jr. Yes? And? Did he learn something? Yeah. Siri and Dandelion set out to steal Siggy Ruven's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Siri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why? It's widely known how anybody who packs with wine is. Siri was desperate, but you're right. It wasn't the best idea. Orson ended up wounding Siri just after he tortured Doodoo. Doodoo? Well, how is Doodoo related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved to help Siri. Luckily, Doodoo managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. Huh. What, Wiley? He's dead. 